Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome my dear. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and also leave me a comment down below so we can start a nice chat. Alright guys, so I'm sure most of you who saw my post on Instagram and on our community, you must be super excited because I'm super excited and I just couldn't wait to show you all my new treasures. Um, I was waiting for a while because I was still waiting for the products to come. Uh, um, there's also one package that I'm still waiting for, but I decided just to go ahead and do um, a, a nice haul today, just because I have it, definitely enough to show you. I have eight new fragrances to show you and I'm sure that all of you are gonna find something for yourselves because they're all very different. I have some orientals, some oud, some super sexy scents, some very fresh ones, so yeah, let's go and jump right in. Uh, some of these are complete blind buys, like I've never even seen a review on them and some are actually recommended by you guys, which I thank you for so so much. So let's do this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the biggest elephant in the room, which is Parfums de Marley de Lina. And I went with the original version, I assumed this would be the safest bet. Uh, of course, as I said, there's one more package that I'm waiting for, for from Be Layered, where I ordered some Delina dupes, as people call it. And I'm really looking forward to make a full in-depth review of Delina for you guys, where I also compare all the so-called dupes uh, that I acquired with the original. So we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's gonna be very, very excited because I'm gonna be very tough and like very strict and just heartless when it comes to those dupes, all right? Nevertheless, this is the Lena. This is definitely not a blind buy. I went through dozens of those little testers uh, that, I that I would buy online. But I finally decided that yes, this is a fragrance I would actually consider me wearing. I absolutely love it, so you know, I finally got it. So I really love the bottle, I must say. This is a very nice, sturdy bottle. It looks amazing on the vanity. And uh, also the cap is very nice. It's like a nice, um, heavy metal cap with this nice little crystal. So yeah, I'm sure uh, most of you are already familiar with this fragrance because as you know, it's not even niche enough in my opinion because everybody wears it, you know? But the scent itself is absolutely amazing. So the most important thing for me is that it definitely lasts all day and has an amazing silage. That's hands down the truth and I love it for it. Um, this is definitely a rose, very uplifting scent with a lot of sexiness to it. So there's lychee, there's rhubarb um, that gives you this juicy, fruity freshness. It's very much rose based as well. There's nutmeg. It's tiny bit oriental in the dry down in my opinion. Uh, the dry down is lovely, it's more creamy, uh, but the, the souriness and the zestiness and the sweetness holds on to your skin for a while. So that's the Lina by Parfums de Marly. I definitely love it and I must say guys, if they don't come up with something better, I think that might be my wedding scent. Just saying. I like it that much. Okay, next one that I really wanna share my thoughts with you on is the one that you recommended me. You really wanted me to get it and do a review for you guys, which I surely will uh, in the nearest future. <sighs> but I'm worried it's not gonna be the best one. Cause I got Alien Fusion by Mugla and I'm a little bit disappointed for now. Of, of course it might change, you know. I, I got this fragrance like a week ago or so and I only tested it twice so it's not enough 
to have a strict opinion on a fragrance. I need to wear it more in different circumstances. Nevertheless, I definitely, definitely expected something more from it. Especially, this is a flanker that is in the Eau de Parfum version. And I really expected it to have a lot more sillage, a lot more lasting power. I expect it to be a lot more powerful. To me, it's definitely a very uh, smooth, in a inoffensive scent you know it's still a good perfume don't get me wrong but I expected it to be spicy because it has ginger in the beginning uh, some cinnamon if I'm not mistaken uh, there's tuberose in here as well but definitely not prominent either um, it does have very much of an alien vibe but to me it's just too soft at least for now Maybe I'll change my mind, but I really expected it to be a lot more spicy. I know um, some of you guys absolutely love it and swear by it, but when I compared it side by side with my all-time favorite summer version of Alien, which is Alien Sublime, that was just... That's definitely not a winner. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, if you watch my videos for a while now, you know that I love or sublime version of Alien because this is like Alien mixed with citrus and it's very very potent uh, even though it's an eau de toilette this is eau de parfum and I don't feel like it's more uh, powerful we'll see how it goes but so far not so good I'll be honest okay I'm gonna cheer everyone up with another fragrance that it's definitely gonna be my another signature scent hands down and this is a scent that you guys recommended to me, I feel like, since the first video that I posted on YouTube, which is, like, so long ago, it feels like now. Anyway, this is just the best fragrance of them all, to me. And this is Montal Intense Café, Café Entense, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, the only thing I absolutely hate is the bottle, to me it's super cheap, it's not sturdy at all, it doesn't have any weight to it. Uh, also this little thing, it's not even... I, I don't know. <sighs> I feel like what they're doing, the Montal, um, they really like don't want to invest in the bottles, so they're gonna keep their fragrances quite cheap on a, on a good side of the price. I don't know. Tell me what your thoughts about it are, but to me the packaging is terrible. And also, can you please tell me, because I'm sure you, you most of you have some Montal fragrances, is this metal packaging or is this what? Is it glass? I don't know. To me it's a very weird packaging. It feels like metal, but correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, the juice. I'm in love. I'm in love. This is my, my favorite fragrance right now. So this one... I love it guys. I'm so excited about it. You have no idea. This is first of all super long lasting. I, I tested it once already like you know my night test when I put it on uh, at night and I sleep with it and I check if it's still there in the morning and it definitely was very much potent. It's gorgeous. It is coffee, vanilla and rose and in the dry down the dry down is amazing because it's very oriental in the best woody sexy way possible that I absolutely love it has this this woody sexiness that I just die for in perfumes and it has it so it's just a winner a winner of them all and uh, I read on Frangratica that uh, on some people the coffee note doesn't stay for too long and I was pretty much prepared that um, the coffee is not gonna stay on me for too long, maybe half an hour or something, but it actually does stay on me quite a long time, around three hours. And then it basically blends into this gorgeous vanilla, uh, oriental, rosy perfume. It's, it's one of the best perfumes out of this haul, definitely. I feel like it's on the podium with the Lina side by side. That's how much I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Montal Café Entense. Eau de Parfum. Amazing. 
thank you so much for recommending. You were absolutely right. To me, it's not as potent of a rose, but still very gorgeous. Okay, next one is a complete blind buy. I've never heard anybody talk about it. I've never read any good in-depth review on it. I just literally blind bought it and hoped for the best. I was super stressed. And I was actually looking for a good coconutty, tropical, but still very long-lasting summer fragrance. And one of my lovely subscribers recommended to me Gavlan Terracotta. Uh, and I was actually almost... Um, buying it but I was a little bit afraid if it is not too much of a white floral so if you have it please let me know how it performs of you on you if it's still like this nice coconut suntan lotion scent or is it too flowery I, re I really want to know because I'm really interested in that scent nevertheless I came across uh, this one and this is by the brand Mancera and uh, as you guys probably know, this is the sister uh, company to Montal. I think they have the same owner, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so this is Montserrat Holidays. And basically what it is, if you know how piña colada smells like, this is straight on piña colada scent. Amazing. So this is how it looks like. Gorgeous presentation. I really like the pouch. It's very interesting. And it's definitely a nicer packaging than the Montal one. Hands down. Also, the bottle is very sturdy. It's glass bottle and the cap is a screw cap. Of course, at first I was like, mm, 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 but then I realized you actually have to move it around. Uh, so yeah, this is how the bottle looks like. I really like the presentation much more the, than the Montal one. And the scent basically is a Ilang Ilang tiare flower, coconut, vanilla, I think also some musk and ozonic ocean notes to it. Uh, so it is very sweet, very, very sweet. Uh, it is definitely for sweet perfume lovers, which I am, so if you like sweet perfumes, this is going to be your best friend for summer. To me, this one is a elevated, more sophisticated and definitely way more long-lasting Escada fragrance. If you used to love Escadas when you were younger, when I was a teenager, I mainly used Escadas every year, all year. So this really kind of reminds me of that vibe, but it's way more elevated. It, you know, you smell the quality of the perfume despite of it being very sweet and like, you know, very summery. Uh, there's a lot of coconut in here, even though there's no pineapple to me, it smells like straight up piña colada with some musk and some fresh like ocean slash ozone notes like there is some freshness to that sweetness definitely it's not going to kill you um and i i also did a little test um uh, the night test as i call it and it really performed beautifully and uh, i feel like this is going to be a beast when it comes to longevity so uh, i'll keep you guys updated by but so so far this is a absolute winner when it comes to blind buys so that's mancera holidays another blind buy guys uh i really needed something very fresh very clean because i realized i have nothing that's like clean and fresh um I would consider Alien Sublime clean and fresh, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I really needed something like to go around the house, to do my yoga, um, but you know, still smell quite nice and fresh and clean, etc. So I went for my first ever Elizabeth Alden perfume. I was never into Elizabeth Alden perfumes, I'll be honest with you. And I hated the packaging, I hated, hated the whole vibe, I felt like they're just unnecessary for me. But this one I really like. It came today actually, but I like did one or two sprays already. This is White Tea by Elizabeth Alden. I hope, I hope it focuses. 
So the bottle looks very nice considering it's Elizabeth Alden. It's like nice and sleek, really, really like it. And this scent actually really surprised me. I was sure this would be a typical white tea that basically evaporates from your skin after an hour or even less. This one actually is good. It's very fresh and clean, definitely a white tea fragrance, but it has like a masculine unisex vibe. Yeah, I really, really like it. I'm gonna test it out more and let you know how I feel about it for sure. But so far, definitely so, so good. Very good, clean fragrance. Okay, so that's Elizabeth Alden. Let me have a little sip of my green juice. It's actually kale and orange. Really nice, I really recommend it. Okay. So the next one I want to show you is also a blind buy, but this is just amazing. So, I uh, really love Shahab Oud by Swiss Arabian, you know it, you love it too, uh, at least most of you. So I really wanted to uh, try out other things from the brand. And uh, actually I heard that, I mean I didn't hear it, I read it on Fragrantica, uh, that this is a dupe for, or at least it's similar to Santal Royale by Guerlain. And uh, I'm very much familiar with Santal Royale because my mom used to wear it um, very often when I still lived with her and I used to steal it all the time. So I'm very like, you know, familiar with the nose because not only I smelled it on myself, I constantly smelled it on her. And this one is supposed to be quite similar. Some people also refer it uh, to the Armani Privé uh, Rosie Arabi. To me, it's neither but it's still an amazing fragrance. So this is Swiss Arabian Ser A Sheila. I hope I didn't butcher the name. I'm very sorry, I don't speak Arabic, so it's a little bit bummer. Nevertheless, the packaging is massive and it looks super, super luxurious, so thumbs up. And you open it, and from the first packaging, you get into the second packaging, which is a book. Amazing! It's actually like a leathery feel to it, really, really luxurious. I feel like this perfume is from their um, more exclusive range of fragrances. And yeah, the packaging is to die for. And then you open the book and then you get the fragrance, which is in like a velvet um, packaging. Very, very luxurious. To me, that's how the Lina should be packaged for the price. Because, you know, now comparing, this packaging is a joke, basically. Because I paid so much money for the Lina, and what, what did I get? And I paid like $40 for uh, the Swiss Arabian, and I got like super luxurious packaging. So, to the fragrance itself. It's amazing. So the bottle looks like this and it has an amazing cap that's like a golden crystal with some turquoise. Uh, the packaging is very sturdy so you know it, you really get the quality. I was very pleasantly surprised. And the scent itself is absolutely amazing. It does remind me a little bit of Santal Royale but it's definitely more on the rose side than Santal Royale. To me, Santal Royale is definitely more woody slash masculine. It leans definitely more masculine than this one. Um, also, Santal Royale has a peach note to it, which makes it... It actually doesn't make it sweeter than it is. Um, but it has like a very like unisex vibe, in my opinion. This one is definitely most prominent on the rose and woody notes. Gorgeous scent. It really is a very smooth, woody oriental rose. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you are thinking about, um, you know, I'm sure I'm gonna get some questions about it. Like, if you already have Shahav Oud, should I get this one? 
definitely yes, because uh, these are completely different fragrances. They're both rose oud fragrances, but this one is way smoother. It's way less sweet than Shahaf oud. Shahaf oud has pralines in it. It's very, very sweet oud. Um, when it comes to oud in this one, it's also very sweet. It's on the sweeter side of the oud. It's not the bitter uh, herbal oud, definitely not. It's a sweet oud, but it gorgeously blended. It's way more sophisticated, I would say. Definitely. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Of course, I'm gonna be reviewing it soon. So that's Sale en Sheila by Swiss Arabian. Okay, what do we have next, my lovelies? Uh, okay, the fragrance that you also wanted me to review so much and... Um, I still don't know what I feel about it, I must say. I like it, but do I love it? I don't know yet. It's Gucci Oud. So when I was younger, I used to love uh, and wear Gucci by Gucci, the brown one. So this is basically an Oud version of it. And according to Fragrantica, it has uh, raspberry notes to it. It's quite spicy. Uh, and I would say it's more of a fresher Oud. It's def it definitely is so oriental and quite heavy, but it definitely has those more uh, fresher notes to it. It's not as like hard and heavy. So if you're new into Oud, I think you might like it. Yeah, it's way fresher. It's still a little bit, it has like a little bit of a medicinal note. Some people actually compare it to uh, Velvet Rose and Oud by Jo Malone. To me that one mm, is definitely more sweet and rosy if I remember correctly, but I think I do. This one is way more uh, spice oriented. Uh, I do smell the raspberry, but not that much as I would like. I thought it would be a little bit more fruity, I'll be honest. Definitely a unisex. Uh, I think still it's a nicely blended fragrance and I will be testing it. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that was Gucci Oud. I, I'm sorry I don't have more to say about it, but you know, I still need to test it out. I might like it, I think. Um, Actually, my boyfriend really likes it, so we might actually share the bottle. Uh, it's quite hard hard to get because I only was able to get the 50 mil. I couldn't find a bigger one anywhere, but I will try my best to link one uh, for you guys below there. Uh, and yeah, so that's that. I'll be soon doing my Oriental Fragrances review, so uh, keep an eye on that because I'll surely be including that one as well. And the last one that I want to share with you, and if you are actually uh, debating on getting Gucci Oud, I think this is the one that you should get in the first, um, in the, like, you know, firstly, that's what I mean. Yeah, I lost my words. Um, this is Estee Lauder Wood Mystique, and this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Uh, so this one is way more feminine, definitely. It is described as unisex, but to me it's definitely a feminine one. A guy could pull this off like most ouds, but to me it's definitely on a feminine side. This to me is more on a masculine side. This one is on feminine side, definitely. So what it is, it is a sweet, quite floral, but in a good way. You know, I hate florals. So if I say it's a good floral, it's a good floral. <laughs> Trust me, uh, it's floral, it's woody, it's woody, woody, <laughs> it's sweet, it's very nicely blended, it's very smooth, it's a, a definitely a smooth fragrance and out of all the ooze that I just showed you, the Swiss Arabian, the Gucci, this one to me is definitely the most versatile and I also think it's, it's going to be the most likable while still being very original. Again, this is a fragrance that nobody talks about, like literally nobody. Like, I have here maybe only three fragrances that people actually review, and the rest, like, does nobody use them? I don't know why, because I love them, and I think you will love them too. So that's Wood Mystique. It's sweeter, it's definitely a sweet oud, but a very sophisticated oud. Um, 
it's not uh, it's not that barnyard smell if you know what I mean it's not this strong bitter wood this this wood is definitely on the sweet side it has a little bit of an herbal hue to it which actually is very nice in this fragrance it's not my favorite thing about wood but here it's gorgeous so there's peony um, definitely a rose it's very woody definitely a sweeter kind of fragrance Still very oriental, but absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous one. So if you are really debating, we can't go out right now anywhere, right? So if you want to blind buy any of these, I think that would be your best bet, definitely. Yeah, said the girl who blind bought all of them. This is the best bet, definitely. So that's Estee Lauder Wood Mystique. And that's the last one. We went through this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like um, the haul. And I'm going to be reviewing all of them very soon in the upcoming videos. Uh, so I hope you all the best. Uh, I hope you are doing well. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye!